Hello, my name is Ben from AG Labs Germany and today we just do an iPhone X um, top layer board swap together so let's go. That was a, a really fast entry in the video I think. Um, what I already have prepared is the old board NAND CPU but they need a reboot okay we need to copy the logic ROM data and we need to prepare a board for doing the swap. I hope you are all healthy in times of Corona and you can go all to your work and if not just uh, watch videos and uh, practice at home. My table looks really ugly. So, and we start by just um, separating them board halves. Just use some some hot air to get it. Needs a little bit of more time. And done. Okay. don't need this but we need the top layer and we start right away by preparing the top layer for the CPU swap and NAND swap. So we go straight to the on hands. And we need a nozzle, so now we can get started just by removing removing the underfill. Okay. Other side, gently remove the underfill. And last side. Done. Now we just remove the CPU.
done. After that, just using some flux. slightly over it Turn the watch. First step done, just take a brush and clean. Just take another nozzle and clean the CPU area. Gently the edges. and the corners. cap which needs to sit back Done.
cleaning one time. Kannst du mir gerade Clean Room Vibes mitbringen, Andi, bitte? Wenn du da oben bist gerade. Perfekt, vielen Dank. And a last cleaning by using the wig. Getting off the solder everywhere. And done. Clean. Take a wipe. Control is all, of all is okay. Or if you see something like this clue here, just remove it. Small amount of hot air, small amount of airflow, and just get the clue out. Done. And this looks good, I think. We control the value at power supply, just cool down a little bit. Value is good, about 4 milliamps. Great. Now we just take off the NAND. <laughs> Kyle is doing so many ICC Pro since he's working here, he just doesn't want to anymore. But uh, we have good messages today. A big stock of ready ICC Pro boards has left China. So I think within the next days we have a large stock and we only have to mount things like the OLED and the power button and things like that, not much. So the work for Keidel 51 will be much easier then. Ich kann den Katschaf Keep auf mich, Alter. Ich kann nicht mehr den Katschaf. Wir sind verdummt, oder was? Okay, so. Just take out all the underfill. Wow. And off 
after that we just remove the NAND. Yeah, here at my place, three. You can take one for you. And then, NAND is out. Okay. Here I saw that some components are just a little bit loose. So I will fix them again. Done. Just some flux here. Wick. Some solder. And cleaning the board. clean and taking the hot air to clean the board completely to take off the clue Done. Clean the board. Push and it's okay. Cool down, control the value. Value is good. Three milliamps. Test, test. Test, test. <laughs> okay. Now we just um, copy the data. Just copy the data from one board to the other board. Okay, so a logic ROM data. Read, read complete, and 
burn. Done. What do we need to do now? Is just do an unbind for the NAND. Wi Fi unbind at NAND. I already took out NAND and CPU and cleaned, so I need to do just the rebolts of both chips. Unbind Wi Fi success. Done. Now we just need to reball the CPU. See, I moved the stance a little bit. I hope that there won't be a problem later. I moved it just a little bit to adjust the CPU better. And now we just do the reball. Looks good, I think. Okay. I think this looks okay. Clean room wipe, waiting. And just a quick reflow with stencil because two or three balls are sticking at the stencil. That's not a problem, just some flux. And just a quick reflow with stencil. done and I think now we can take out CPU I see here we got this was because of the moving, but I think we can get it. Yes, that's pretty okay. Some balls are sticking at the stencil. I think 
happens sometimes. And it's not a problem. And I think it's because of the moving. Okay. Let's wait and see. Test, test. Yeah, it was that area and that area here. So I hope that they are test, test. sticking now. Good. And yeah, now it's fine. I just clean it one time by using the brush. And then cleaning by using the air. Now we control if all the balls are cleaning the table. And now again, you can see all balls are looking good, all same size, and all balls are there, okay? Just getting on some flux. To all the areas of the CPU. Reflow of the whole CPU. Pretty okay. You can have a look. CPU here and we need the NAND. Wi-Fi has been already unbinded. So it's just about a quick reball. Okay, has been done. Lifting up. Taking some flux. Here is one point of dirt. Get it away. And reflow. Just tiny piece of shit. Okay, good. And we can now just um, sit that whole shit back to the board. So that's the right board here, yeah, ready cleaned. So we start by the NAND. small amount of flux here because we have flux under the NAND itself
down. And then this down. Now we want to sit back the CPU. it here I'll look for the right placement if all is okay just solder that CPU down CPU was soldered down correctly, waiting a short time for cooling down. And we need the bottom layer. The bottom layer is here. Just cooling down the board. After that we control the value on power supply, should be about 70 milliamps. And that looks pretty okay. Okay, so let's get that into But let's check if I can use it. Okay, we just clean it a little bit for use at the fixture. So, okay, and we just do the bottom layer here, top layer in, screen. Green connection cable. <coughs> so, and we connect the cable. for something on the screen. I hope that my fixture is working. But now I see something which isn't normal because we go to 250 milliamps and then back to 160 milliamps. So, okay, now check if the value is okay for that board with CPU and with NAND. Okay, it isn't okay. Value isn't okay. I, I thought it was because it, it was a little bit hot. 
not a problem. We just get back. Sometimes you have to do it in that way. So sometimes we have to do things twice. that out because we always this is something I tell my I tell the people who coming here for learning we always start there where we have done something okay so it can can be totally the case that there is something not right connected but you see the balls are all looking good and it looked like it's really right connected. again we clean the board so we do things twice today not a problem turn Done. Clean the board. Control the value after complete cleaning. Here is the NC pad. Go away. Oh. This wasn't my fault now. You saw that? I just wanted to kick away the NC. Now I need to set a little jumper here. But I first want to control the rest of the board. Looks all good. Okay. Just a jumper. So some flux here. Where's my knife? Here. My knife isn't good anymore. Just doesn't want to cut. No.
Okay, done. Do you see? I think that's pretty okay. The rest is good. Control if there are any pets which have more solder than other snacks beside. Here, take away and, and see. Here is some more clue. And this could be the problem, which was here. <coughs> because in that area, it can cause a disconnection. Okay, much better. Control the edges. Now it looks good. Jump is it's good too. Rest is okay, clean. Check while you're at power supply to see if the board is fine. Board is fine, 4 milliamps with an end without CPU. Okay, get it in here. Take off the solar. Get on some flux. It makes things like that much easier. Go down here. We take off the whole solder here. <coughs> Clean the whole CPU by using the brush. only do two. So the surface is perfect.
Now we just need to reboil that. And we had such a good time. And now we needed a lot of time for doing that. But we have to do. Done. All the walls are there. Not a problem. Just one time cleaning. some flux flux for the whole CPU all areas all edges done a short time getting it back to the board And solder it down. Waiting until the flux is coming out at the sides. Here it comes, and here yeah, that looks good.
Done. Waiting a short time for cooling down. See the balls. That looks good. Cooling down a little bit. And then control while you're on power supply. And now we are fine. Now we are fine. So let's see for a boot. Just give it to the enhanced camera. I hate plugging in these FPCs here okay and okay so where is my here is my power plug boom back to life again iPhone X, but I had to do the CPU twice. Things like that happen. I don't know if there is a personal image in the background, so. Just wait, still the Apple, but it will be booted up in a minute. the apple but for the value all okay some more seconds and here we are you see so okay but I have to take a look for the touch because on my flex cable here normally the touch doesn't work that's right but it's not related to to the board it's related to you see that? I can show it to you in the microscope or under the microscope. You see, that's my touch connector here and you see that? Here, it's broken. So sometimes it works, sometimes not. But now I just want to re the bottom board. Normally I wanted to end up the video here because the top layer swap has been done but let's see for the bottom layer how much time do we need for for doing the, the rest here okay Andy, do you want to drink a beer? Wenn man dich fragt, ein Gleich zu hören, das ist auch uh, sehr verwunderlich. Normally, if you tell Andy, okay, let's have a beer, directly he's flying to the fridge and getting some ice cold beers, like Homer Simpson. So I think your new name for me is Homer, Andy. And I'm Mo. <laughs> okay. Sold this off.
bottom layer is ready for reball. We need to take this and that and this one. Oh no, that's the wrong stencil. This is for iPhone XS and XS Max, but this is for the iPhone X. Okay, let's clean. Okay, paste in everywhere. One swap every day. And let's go. Da 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 da. I see one more here, right here, who needs a little, a little help. Yeah, and it's good. And done. Wait a short time. Lift up the stencil. 
see the result. It's okay. Some flux for a quick and fast reflow. And then some more flux. Oh, you see, I was a little bit too fast here. But not a problem. We can fix fix things like that very fast and easy, just like that. Yeah, it's okay. don't want to waste time because this repair took a long time until now and now I get out the heatsink yesterday I forgot it taking a picture Getting to the preheater. Hmm? And I think we haven't cleaned the the tab layer. So flux around. Ja, Luftfeuchtigkeit. So you see a top layer swap on an iPhone X can take time. We are over one hour now, but we rebolt the bottom layer too and we get the board back together now. But you see sometimes things are not first try. In this case I had to do the CPU twice. It wasn't not right it wasn't right connected or something wasn't like it should be. But in this case, think what you have done, where you can do things better and do it again. Okay, done. Clean.
And now we can just end up this repair by getting them both halves back together. We have already flux here. We have already prepared and cleaned board with a CPU soldered down on it. I just want to show you that again. You can see the bolts. So now it's just getting them both halves back together. Looks pretty good. Okay. <coughs> we go up with the heat to 183 degrees. And I just want to help a little bit by using the hot air. I want to go fast, not spending a long time for that. Go, 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 go. Go together, baby. Yes, it's flat. Looks okay. Turning off the preheater. Taking off the board here. good I think get it to the dust absorber looks good I think something this is really really bad because something happened on soldering back together the board halves and I just want to see what so that's really bad because <laughs> I just wanted to finish no there is something between the board halves. So two times the CPU, two times the board halves. Yeah, okay, I do. <laughs> Andy, can you please get some beers? Because now I'm really fucked up. I should end up the video on doing the CPU <laughs> and all this, okay. <laughs> well, now we got a problem on VCC main, why? job which I do every fucking day 
every fucking day I do these iPhone exports and rebore them and getting them back together and I never need two times for doing that or only sometimes not often again at bottom at the bottom started from the bottom okay so let's take off the solar oh I don't know where the problem is here now my microscope has been gone away Now my microscope cam fucks up completely. No. I just don't know why. But it has been gone away now. So what can we do in that now? I try to fix. Why? Why, why, why? Why today? Normally it was a good day. I did a lot of good jobs today. No. I can't do anything now. I c just can get it in that way so you can see anything here. really fucked up because I did the CPU it's all great I had to do two times now I have to do two times the board so people think uh, people thinking I'm crazy take a look fine IP oh yeah and thank you it's better mm, mm. I'm feeling a little bit sick I don't know why But where came the VCC short from now? So let's do a quick measurement for VCC short on the bottom. Perhaps uh, a cap has been failed or things like that. I have to take a look. Where we have VCC, I think VCC is this area here. Yeah, and we don't have a VCC short. Yeah, that's okay. And the bottom, uh, the top alone. What about the top alone? Do we have a short cap on the top? No, we don't have. Value? Value is great. Okay, so it was a bad rebore. Or a bad connection between the both halves after the reball after soldering them back together. So my fault. I can't say anything about that. Just is was my fault. Like the CPU was my fault too.
Okay. Cleaning all the areas, taking the solder off. And done. And now we just need to clean by using a brush like before too. Okay, so we do the reball again. Woohoo! Yay! Reball! Oh, that's the wrong picture. stencil is something is not good with the stencil perhaps this one ah, okay perhaps it was the stencil it has a little bend this one has no bend okay perhaps we found the problem perhaps we found the problem now yeah now it's just really much more easy to get the solder in because we have no bend here and so perhaps this was problem for the error oh it was my own fault yeah why not we are all humans not machines so if we do works like that it always can happen that you have to do things twice or more than twice sometimes if i think about how often i did some things or how long i worked on on problems so it can easily happen yes and everybody who tells you no all is working first try just lying everybody has already needed more time for doing things okay and again and again <laughs> Andy what about you okay you are you are against Corona, okay, bro. Why not? Search Andy on Instagram. His nickname is COVID-19. So you see here I just need a little point of flux. Come on, little solar point. Okay, this looks much more better.
Come on. Come on and go on. Okay, we are done. And I know it's bad to see, but if I use another, no, it just doesn't work anymore. So we need to, to do it in that way. Next video, I will have a look for the problem of the cam. Okay, just clean the stencil and you see on, on, on this stencil, It just doesn't go away by taking the, the top side up, so I think it was a, a problem with the stencil. Now we get in some flux like before. quick reflow to reset all the boards done and now we need a little a little flux okay so that way not too much okay done now we lift up this control if all is okay yes and now we can take the preheater, taking the top layer board, place it down, Okay, I think it looks good, 183 degrees. And getting the board back together. Jetzt nicht, ich google gleich, ich mach mal an, der Preis. Ja? Ich mach dir jetzt noch was. Ich, guck, ich komm gleich, geh mal noch fünf Minuten. Okay. We just solder the boards back together. And I hope that now we don't have a short after that. same area the board <coughs> just doesn't want to go back together correctly here was the same before only at this area I needed more time to get it to get it back but now it sits down yeah. 
Okay, looks good. So we turn off the preheater and just wait. Hast du die kleine flache Pinzette? So eine Vitis oder irgendwas? Ganz kurz nur, damit ich das Board rausheben kann ordentlich. Es kann auch sein, dass das ebenso. Okay. I hold it into the dust absorber just to cool it down. And now we just wait a short time for cooling down before I just just wanted to speed up and I don't want to risk anything now. So at first now I have a look if we have no short. We have a short on VCC. Right if we assemble the board halves back together, we get a short on VCC. Why? Let's have a look for that. We need to find, we need to, to find where the problem is. Or it's, no. No. Let me see on the on thermal. It's a short on bad VCC perhaps. We will see. We will solve that too. was two times problems after soldering the board back together never I had never something like that before so okay let's check by using the multimeter Okay, short is on bad VCC. Um, I just have to open my refox because ZXW is not working today. iPhone, iPhone X, iPhone X Intel. Okay. Let's think about that problem. It's interesting. So here we have bad VCC. Here we have crown. So we have a short on bad VCC. Where we can measure VDD main, VDD main should be here, yeah, here we can do the measurement for VCC main and VCC main is not shorted. So our short is on bad VCC. But the short is only there if we connect the board halves to each other. So the problem The 
problem can be or has to be at the bottom board. I don't think it's a connection problem, but, but why it worked? It worked by using it worked by using the the socket. Okay, that's really crazy. I will find the way. Perhaps something has been shorted after testing at the socket. Must be like that. So I separate the halves again. So main is okay, the problem is on bad VCC. Okay, separated. Now we just check the bottom for a short on bad VCC. Or no, the short, let me think about that. So the short can't be here because we all only have bad VCC on the top, but VCC on the, uh, but bad VCC on the top isn't shorted. Sorry, I have to to think about. Okay, let's check top, no short. Boot value okay, good. Bottom. Bottom has no components for that, but we have two points here. And they are not shorted. Okay. So, what about if I take the fixture? The socket and Put it into the socket. Put it into the socket. Close the socket. And we have no short. <laughs> Bad reball two times. Never. Never. And we have a boot. Okay. We have a boot. So. That's just crazy shit. Really. So. Let's see. Let's see for that. That all looks really good. And what about here? That looks good too. Let's see a little bit of dirt here. But this can't cause a problem like this. Okay. What about if I get it back together? <coughs> okay, get it back together. Sorry for the picture, people, but it's like that now. I can't, can't solve that now. Can't fix that now within that video. Sorry.
I never saw something like that, never. And I did really much of them iPhone X. Top layer swaps, bottom layer swaps. Never had a problem like this before. Okay, and again, turn off the preheater. And the short has been gone now. And we have a boot. Great. So I think there was a connection between two walls. Here you can see I just yeah. I just soldered the board back together now. It all looks great. Yeah. I can't understand the rebow was really perfect. And we still, we still had this fucking problem. I just don't know why. It only can be, it only, it can be, it is, it is no other possibility. It only can be that um, that VCC was connected to ground between the board halves. There is no other possibility. So I'm pretty sorry for that. But you see things like this can even happen to me. So, let's boot up the device after the top layer swap, and boom, after one hour and 40 minutes, <laughs> crazy, crazy time, man, crazy time, really, but now we got it, and I can now just, um, okay, I think that what, was there a private picture, I just don't know. really crazy long repair normally repairs in that length are not <laughs> are not my thing but um, I have to do and you see the touch is working so device is working fine again after the top layer board swap so now I have to clean the whole board to renew the glue stickers and everything and then um, you can see it's exactly the device we had before so I have not, I have not switched um, I have not switched the board or something like that so it's exactly that board and um, I will now clean the whole board and um, getting that thing back together doing a functionality test and get the phone back to the customer so you can see Ben is a stupid guy just had to rebuild the CPU twice and had to, to resolder the board uh, third, uh, three times. <laughs> Just crazy. If you want to learn things like that, <laughs> don't come to me. Don't come to me. Okay, sometimes I need time. You, see, you saw that now. Have a lot of fun with that video. I'm out. And um, yeah, come to our Facebook group, Smartphone Re Repair Group Germany. But please answer the questions, otherwise you won't be accepted. Um, and by the way, buy the amazing ICC Pro because the ICC Pro always works, not like me. I'm out. Boom! Back to life again.